first pair of boots I had, I think it was a pair of Mitre, I think it saved up a, a load of money, about a load of money, about 20 odd quid, and when I bought them from a, from a local sports shop. I probably would have been in the black boot camp if you'd asked me the same question about 10 years ago, but I mean everyone wears colour boots now, it's just part of the, the modern game, you know, I think some people wear more colourful boots than others, but you know, the, the quality of them is what's important to me, not the colour. Um, yeah, I am a little bit. Um, you know, it was a lot more like solid, rigid kind of boot um, than what there is now. I mean, some of the boots are quite, quite light, and you know, they're all about speed and lightness. And, and um, you know, for me, I, I would never have seen you know, the boots ending up where they are with synthetic materials and all this kind of thing. Um, I was in contract with Adidas in France, um, so obviously when I left France um, I had a contract before the end of the contract finished and um, I decided that I wanted to try some other things, you know, I'd been wearing Adidas for a long time and wanted to, you know, see what else was on the market and try a few other brands and, you know, Nike, the Nike Tempo was a great boot and I just got on with it straight away. Puma one was a, a few friends of mine working for, working for Puma and just said, you know, I've got some new boots, would you, would you like to try them? I was like, yeah, yeah, give a go them. And they're okay. And it sort of, it sometimes comes from that or sometimes players are wearing boots or they'll get approached by a brand to to uh, to enter a contract or to wear boots for them or to, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a hundreds of different ways of, of players getting into boots. I mean, the main one is for contract players, the brands will, will, will uh, target. No, I, I can't remember doing that. I think the only time that, that would ever happen was if the the boot was not to be used. Uh, you know, if it was a prototype and you were you were testing it or doing anything early. But I, I can't ever remember having a contractual issue and blacking them out as some players have done. Um, yeah, maybe it was just a prototype that I was trying out that I had to black out. Um, you, you see a few, a few um, that up and coming sports brands like Tifundra and sort of Warrior and, and that kind of boots are uh, creeping into the dressing room as they start putting more money into the product development. But, but mainly it's the big brands, you know, Nike and Addy and, and, and then, you know, like most of the, the main players have been Nike and Addy and then Puma sort of is, is like the third one. So you've got like conservative flavour. Yeah, I mean, some lads use the whole season. Some lads, you know, try a pair of boots and break them in and, and don't won't change them then for you know as long as physically possible. And everyone differs. I mean, for me, I will, I will, you know, you can generally tell when a boot comes out how it fits the eye. You know, whether it's the kind of boot for you, and um, you know, sometimes you can try it on and it actually doesn't it doesn't feel right on, and then other boots, you know, you can try on and, and test and, and it works perfectly. So it's a case of trial and error. Really. Uh, don't forget, we're in them every day of the week. You know I mean, we're, we're in them, you know, training in them, playing in them. Some lads will have training boots, some lads will have match boots and keep them separate. I don't. I, I have, you know, the boots are playing and the boots are training. Um, so I will go through them a lot quicker because once I break a pair of boots, I just keep them going until they start to fall apart. Um, so probably between anywhere for me, certainly between about 10 and, and 20 pairs. Um, don't forget, we're, we're using a multi surface as well. so. Yeah, but I mean, a, a good boot would be 10 pairs a season um, yeah, and I have gone through certain brands and, and had 20, 25, 30 pairs of boots. Uh, no, not that I can recall. I've kept shirts and that kind of thing, but never, never kept boots. His feet aren't big enough at the minute. He's not far away from it now. Um, I took him into a shop and he... he 
literally grabbed every pair of football boots and was wanted to put boots on that were too big for him. And I was really desperate to get him a pair. You know, you that's what as a footballer, someone loves football. You know, it's a proud moment for you when you when you buy your son a pair of boots. And um, unfortunately, there was none that fit him, or none that would even close to fit him. So I can't wait to take him down and buy him buy him some boots. Best boots I've ever worn. Um, it depends, really. I mean, you know, I suppose you yet to wear them, aren't you? Because something probably will come out that'll be more comfortable than what's gone before. I mean, I remember being a kid and having a pair of Lotto uh, Stadia that I'd asked for after the uh, '94 World Cup because George Hadji had them and I was blown away by Hadji. And I remember the, the year I had them, I got them for the Christmas. So after, after that Summer World Cup, the Christmas '94. And uh, they were my favourite boots. I, I, I would, you know, when I got them Christmas Eve, I slept in them. Uh, Christmas Day, sorry, I slept in them. And I think if them, if most favourite pair of boots ever.